Okay, what's up boys? Welcome to another video. I'm making a tier list again because there was a balance update a few weeks ago and it came out right after I uploaded my last tier list, so it was a bit of a stinker. And I also realized I forgot to add Rengoku to the tier list, so I'm gonna fix that now. Let's put this in, um... I would have put this in okay before, but now I'm gonna put it in good. Uh, that's mainly because of the ability to uh, deflect grapple moves, like Tetsuo first, Kamaki third, and Code third. So, also due to that, I'm gonna move Tetsuo down, and I think I'll move Subaru up, because you can use the counter during moves, which is absolutely OP, it's basically an auto dodge, except it does damage. So, I'm moving that up. It's still better to use an auto dodge though, in my opinion, but uh, if you use an M1 combo, it's super busted. So, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move Getsuga above Aizdun. I don't know why I put Aizdun that high, in all honesty. And I'm gonna move Diva Rangoku up to best, because Diva Rangoku is just like normal Rangoku, with the push ability, except it's way stronger, so this can go up to above Ray Carada, definitely. I'll also move Indra up. Indra can go on, like, this kind of level right here. And I think that these two are pretty similar, except this one has more usable abilities. Because this has the fire ability, which kind of is a worse version of the Ashura first ability in my opinion. But yeah, I'm also going to move Ash and Storm up. I don't think I'll put it that high, because it has one really good move. But then I think that's about it, so I'll probably just move it... Actually, you know what, let's move her above Tetsuo. I'll move Tetsuo down again. That looks better. I think, in all honesty, Getsuga is better than Tetsuo, because just like Diva Rangoku and um, normal Rangoku, it has a push ability, which is the third move. So if you use that, and you somebody tries to chase you with Tetsuo third... Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tetsuo first, I meant. If they try and chase you with Tetsuo first, you can basically fly around them and just deflect them and just fully counter them. So it's it's really good. I think it's really underrated. Uh, p nobody uses it in the meta anymore, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I'll also move Crystal up to good. I mean, it's not necessarily, like, overpowered or anything, but, yeah. Also, guys, the trash tier is not in order. I just want to clarify that. But where is Light Joke Guy? Light Joke Guy, this is one of the best bot lines at the moment. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put Light Joke Guy above Barmaki, and I'm going to move Barmaki down. Because after using it for a bit, I realized it's kind of just... All of the moves are easy to block and dodge. It's only good for extending, and the mode is, like... The mode is okay. It does a lot of damage, but the problem is, if anybody uses, like, any sort of Kamaki mode counter when you attack them, you're basically cooked, because it's a bunch of just rapid-fire moves, and there's just no getting out of a Kamaki counter. So, that's why I'm moving Bormaki Gaiden down. Um, I do think Indra's better, in all honesty. And I do think Subaru can go under here. Yeah, okay, I think that, that looks good so far. In fact, I'll put Getsuga above... Uh, Barmaki. But yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move Dokai up because of the auto dodge counter thing that it has. Rune Conchu can go down. Shindai Rank can go down. Kagoku can go down. Strange can go lower. Kagoku can go into the good tier. I'll order these after I'm done, like putting them in the sort of tiers. I still like Snake Man, so I'm biased and I'm gonna keep it there. And. Ryan Gaiden, I think that can go up. That's really useful with the second move. Second move's really good. Kind of carried by that, though. Powder is still above it. Powder's above Eisden, actually, in my opinion. I mean, Eisden is really good. But you can't really do anything against a good player because literally all of the moves are kind of just stat carried, like, they aren't necessarily good moves, they just do a lot of damage, or have a lot of range. Like, the first C-spec is absolutely busted, 100%, but I don't think it's good enough to carry it to the top of best. I, however, I will put it here, I will put it there. And I'll move Powder above Diva because Diva Diva has the deflect move, and that's it. That's all it has. The grab move is trash, if you miss it, you can't use it again, it just deactivates. And the 
toss block breaker thing, it takes too long to land, you can easily just jump out the way. Powder has like two really good moves and it's an EKG as well, so that's why that's gonna go there. I'll also put Gaiden above D.Va. And then Ray character can stay where it is, Mina Kaze can go way down, Mina Kaze is pretty dog water now in all honesty. Uh, Apollo Sand can go down, what else, Sanko can go up, that's what, that's what can go up, oh sorry, I meant to click on Sanko. Bro, bro, Sanko, thank you. Okay, Sanko can go up to good, um, let's see, Cobra, I, I don't even know bro, anything in trash is just like... It just kind of stinks, you know. I didn't even mean to move that down to trash. I think that wasn't good before. I like Tengoku. High damage. Nice. Um, let me have a look through here. We got smoke in here. Let me move that out. Where else do we have? I'm just looking through the trash to you real quick to see if I have anything misplaced. Because one of the guys said that gold dust is actually a really good bloodline. So I'm just going to check it in. Okay, I can't, I can't be bothered to level it up and test it in all honesty. So... <laughs> I'll I'll put it in okay. It's it'll get out of trash, but trash, but that's about it. Um, where's Fizz? Fizz isn't good. That's fine. Okay, let's uh just order this to you now. I guess I like Bankai Kuma. Bankai Kuma is good. Bankai Inferno can move down. It's not as useful as it was with the substitution when the auto dodge update first came out. Um, Bruce Kanichi. I don't know. Naramaki six pass kind of dog. Doku Ten can go up. Bruce Kanichi can go right under that. That can go down, this can go up, this can go under, this can go down, this can go up, this can go up actually, like up up. Um, let's see with that. Pika can go to good I think. Sirachira is kind of dog water again because I don't believe it has the auto dodge bypass anymore. Um, Regiken can stay what it is. I'm a, I'm a Satori Rengoku fan, but I can't put it any higher than where it is at the moment, unfortunately. Um, that's Ren Shiki, right? Ren Shiki is sucks. It only has that one, like, okay move. Uh, which is the, the ball toss thing. And it's just easy to dodge. Some people can use it in a combo very well, but, like, for the most part, I'm gonna check it at the bottom of good. Which, it might have been in any way, I can't remember, but, uh, sure. Let's see. Vengeance. I like Vengeance. Mode is broken. So that can stay where it is. Shindai Akuma. Shindai Akuma is very overrated in my opinion. It's not even one of the best bot lines. Alfie Rama can move up. Why not? Um, Octo Ink is kind of bad. Not going to lie. Apollo Sand is also kind of doggy. <sighs> Let's see. Kagoku can go up. Kagoku is definitely better than Vengeance. 100% sure. Because it has a way better grab. Way longer distance. Can go through things. It's just better, I believe. And what else? Satori Akuma. I believe Shindai Akuma is like on the same level as Satori Akuma, so they can go there. I say Diosenko can go about here. Fizz can go here. This can go down. This is buoy. It has high damage output, but that's about it. Um, stay on the same level as Tengoku. Tengoku is a bit more usable, actually, but. Uh, it's a decent stun, I suppose, but you can dodge it, so. Pikasenko, that, 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 blood can go down. Haven't seen, haven't seen anyone using blood in years, not gonna lie. Uh, Shin, what is this called? Shivarakuma, Shivarakuma's a bit broken, I must say. It's not even because it's good, it's because it's annoying. Like, you can hop out of mode, stun someone, beat them up, run back into mode, and it's just wraps, like, what are you gonna do? They just camp. But yeah, Burmaki, Kamaki, all of this seems good. Where is normal Kamaki? Let me put normal Kamaki inside Kamaki Amethyst to prevent confusion. I also put Doom Shadow right next to Vengeance because it confuses a bunch of the noobs who don't know they are skins. And I really like Eternal. I think it's one of the better bloodlines in the game. I think it's really underrated, especially if you use it like on logs. Which is very like toxic thing to do, but it's still just super good. It's a super good strat. If you're getting attacked, use the third move on logs, you're full HP again. But, um, paper, I like paper, paper's good. I can move that up. Uh, I've also kind of violated Naramaki and, uh, Shindai here, because I do think that Naramaki's probably better than, um, Vengeance. However, one of the moves on, uh, Naramaki is broken at the moment, I believe. And that is the second move. Yeah, second move. 
But um, that can stay where it is for now. Uh, Eastwood, Eastwood is pretty like outdated. Rune Conchu, Rune Conchu is like Diosanko level, I'd say. And Sanko can go below Tengoku. This can go into the next tier down. I like Web. I've been using it a lot recently. It's not good though. Unfortunately, it's actually pretty trash. That can go to the bottom because the third move is pretty useful. Except you can get countered super easily because it's really predictable. Dodge, weave, bam, you're dead. Second move, you can literally just see it coming and literally hand sign and just find a way to counter it instantly. Just bop, 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 dead. So yeah, web is pretty trash. It wasn't even the second move. I, I meant the first move. But um. I'm gonna have a look through the trash tier real quick, see if there's anything I need to change. Ink, that's pretty dog, I think. It can go up to okay, though. I'm just gonna move anything that's sort of usable into okay. So, things like... Sand. Because I'm not sure if the sand count is still, is still good, but... The last time I checked, it, it was decent, it was decent. So, we also have clay down there, clay's pretty mid, that can stay. Riser Akuma, I don't like Riser Akuma, I don't know why anyone thinks this is good, but I'll move her into okay, because... Just to make you guys happy, man, it's not a good bloodline, but, uh... These, oh, these, yeah, I can move these up, these, these are good. These, these two are good, I like this. I'm pretty sure they added a ton of end lag onto the moves, though, unfortunately, but, uh, before that they were good. I'll also move this up here, why not? Um, one is army. that's um, a water bloodline. Unfortunately, I, d I don't believe the shark bloodline affects water uh, Genkai's. I could be mistaken though, and if I am mistaken, then this is a really good bloodline. This can be like, good to you. But if I'm not, if I, like, if it doesn't work on it, then it's trash. Uh, so, Raikon Shizen as well, that's pretty good. That can go up here. I don't believe it passes anything in the good tier, though. Unfortunately, so uh, what I'll probably do is, uh, oh, right. Match those up with each other. Inferno, that can go there, because the iframe move. I'm not sure if it still works, but if it does, then it belongs there. So, Surge belongs at the bottom of bottom. Same with Menza. I'm not, I, I usually don't order these, but I'm, I may as well to put a little effort into it. Um, I think that's good enough. Magma is pretty trash, but it can go in okay because it's an EKG. It has some redeeming qualities, like the fact it's free from a Tail Beast. And it has okay damage, I think, but, uh... Oh, Vine. Yeah, I can move Vine up 100%. Get back down there, Magma, you idiot. Mag Vine has the same problem as Shiva, except it's a lot easier to deal with because... With Vine, you can still attack them if they're in the floor, it's just harder to see them, so it's a bit of an L. But, um, yeah, I think this is a solid tier list. I think I've added everything I need to add, but I could have a quick scan through here, because I did forget things last time. Apollo Sand, that's what I'm forgetting. Yeah, Apollo Sand, for PvP, I don't think it's that bad, you know, for PvP. I think that can go in okay. And let's move this definitely above Web, Sirachiro, Narumaki, Jin Jinshiki, Mecha... Okay, let's just keep moving up until I feel like I need to stop. Let's go there. Yeah, that seems good. And I think I should move Ink down and then start ordering this. Because this is a decent block breaker. There's a lot of better alternatives, though. Jinshiki's kind of dog water. Web is very bad. As I said earlier, it's quite easy to counter. I can stay here, though. Um, Akuma. No, it's just a bit bad. Um... Let's move this below here. Same level, you know. Uh, what else do we have? Oh yeah, what did I do with the skin for this? Yeah, let's put this in trash. Because this one can fly, this one can't fly. That's a big difference, you know? We gotta we gotta take that into account. Right and cheese in between these two? That's not right. Let's put it, I, I meant to put it at the top, I think. Um... Okay, I'm just scanning through here. Strange being in best... I don't know about that, because I really like the fact that you can revive with it and just instantly get to like half HP by using the C-Spec when you're about to die. Um, but the moves are pretty bad, the stun's bad, the block break is good, it's basically chaos first. Um, the stamina drain move is pretty good as well, 
So I like the moves, the Q-Spec's good. But, like, it's not on the good level of, like, Tetsuo Kaijin. But I... You know what? I think it does belong here. Fume and Ragnar, though? I, I don't know about Ragnar. Like, it's not really usable anymore. Due to, like, all the race buffs and, like, speed buffs everyone's got. Like, if, if you're fighting a shinobi or a puppet, like, you're not gonna land anything with Ragnar. It's just too close range and hard to aim. Like, for example, the first move, it's like a lightning beam. Drops down in bits. It goes bop, bop, bop. You can't chase them fast enough to actually land the hit. Unless you have, like, god-tier prediction skills, who activates his observation hacky or something. But I think I'm gonna move this down, you know? I'll move this up, I'll move this down. And I think... I'll move this up to here. And I might move Morbius up to... about headless level, because... Morbius has a few good moves, and... Due to there not really being any good alternatives to the auto-dodge bypass that Mikaze gave... You could, theoretically, just use Morbius second until it auto-dodge runs out, and then attack them after it's done. To stop them from counter-attacking you, which I think is a really nice strategy. Um, it's a bit hard to pull off, though, on a good player, but, uh... Yeah, it, it, it is good, it is good. Um, Paper being above Naramaki Six Paths is a bit of an insult, in all honesty. I'll move Naramaki Six Paths up a bit, but, um... This looks like a good tier list, in my opinion. This 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 seems pretty alright. I mean, the okay and trash... Sorry, okay and good tiers might not be ordered correctly, but, uh... Snake Man above Dokai is a bit of an L. I'll move that down. I told you guys I'm biased because, um... I like One Piece. One Piece is a good show. But, uh... I might move Minakaze above Strange and have Str Ooh, which Strange go? And Strange at the top of good. So... <laughs> nah, I'm gonna keep that as trash. It'll just confuse people and they'll be asking, what does this mean? Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I removed the PvE too. I should probably add it back, actually, in all honesty. But, uh... Yeah. This is the tier list. Since PvP and PvE are the same thing now anyway, I don't think I really need a PvE tier since uh, you can just use your PvP bloodlines on bosses since they can get comboed now. But as for Tailed Beast, Xenodokai, Apollo Sand, and Shadow, those are the tops. So I could probably Shadow there for PvP. Yeah, okay, that sounds about right. Um, I just want to have one last look over this. I mean, Ryan Rangoku is not that bad, but it did get nerfed recently as well with the iframes on the second move, I think it is. Whatever, the pull move where you go, whoa, you know? Anyway, uh, I, th I think that's about it for this tier list in all honesty. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.